Hello, Acron fans! This is Shadow333 bringing you a match on Remnant Springs between Dark Vortex, Grecum Player in red on north, and Chitin, a. I'm not sure what exactly he's playing. He's gone back to the past, I'm just gonna double check. He's also playing Grecum, so it's a Grecum versus Grecum match on Remnant Springs, and both players starting out pretty quickly. Looks like Dark Vortex has already started out lifting up his Articus, trying to send it out, while Chitin is also sending his Articus out, so everyone's been doing this Articus, Articus moving thing now. It's quite interesting. So, both players now have their triad set up, and they both have... Well, they should have the triad set up. It looks like Dark Vortex is a bit further in the past, so he hasn't quite let his actions come visible, but he is... Actually, he's not really ordering anything for where he is right now, from the looks of it. As you can see right here, these are the number of orders he can issue, and the number of orders he well, can issue, and has issued left as his chrono energy. I just added this recently. And so, it looks like from his point of view, he has... He does have a triad, here we are. Okay, so he does have a triad. He does have Octo setting up to build resources, and it looks like, at the same time, Chitin is also building, but he's Chitin is actually at the present, so he's a fair bit up from here. So, from Chitin's point of view, he is actually sending out a rush, so Chitin will be rushing with a couple Octos, I'm not sure if this is an Echo Scout or not, but he is rushing out with that. And Dark Vortex is fast-forwarding as well to get closer into the present. He will be coming to the present pretty quickly, and it looks like... He doesn't have a quite a strong economy, but he is further in the past, so once his timeline catches up, it'll turn out that he actually does not have that strong of an economy. So he does So Dark Vortex has a slightly weaker economy than Chitin at this point, and Chitin is going to be having a much actually, you know what? It looks like Chitin may be going for fast tech, so it doesn't look like the economy is actually stronger. Dark Vortex may actually have a slight advantage of economy, but at the same time, there is this attack coming in from Chitin, or it was an attack coming in from Chitin, it looks like maybe it's been echoed out. Let me see. So Chitin has a couple Octos coming in that are coming into attack, and so Chitin will be hitting further in the future, while Dark Vortex is about 10 seconds down and hasn't come in yet. So Dark Vortex hasn't seen exactly what Chitin is up to yet, nor the other way around, but looks like Dark Vortex... Here we are. So Dark Vortex, once time it's come up, has seen Chitin, so Dark Vortex is attacking Chitin first. Chitin also has a fairly strong economy when Dark Vortex is looking. Dark Vortex does not have tech yet, but he's building this reef right now. Also continuing to build up a very strong economy, and getting a lot more Faros Seppi, so it looks like he might be building a causally independent triad, another Octo as well, to help defend. So a couple Octos coming in for Chitin, while an Octo comes in for Dark Vortex to try to harass a bit. Neither player doing a huge amount of harassment, and it looks like, actually, it looks like there's no Octo right now for Chitin, so Dark Vortex has a slight advantage in terms of what he has in a progen triad, but same time, Chitin is advantage in what he's actually damaging. However, it looks like Chitin's attack will not be that fruitful. Back to when he is, though, it looks like his attack was modified slightly. He's One of his options is now going after the RPs, and no, it's continuing to attack. So it looks like Chitin hasn't changed too much in the past. And it looks like, actually, it looks like at this point, Chitin has very quickly gotten advanced structures, so he should be able to get a Reef fairly quickly. Or not a Reef, sorry, a Spire fairly quickly. And yeah, neither player is really ordering a lot of stuff out. Looks like Dark Vortex has gone to the past to try to check out some stuff, but actually, gone very distant past for Chitin's. Chitin's double checking. He's doing something back here. Looks like he is going to be. What is he doing? He is doing something. He's ordering quite a bit, actually, when he is. Looks like. It's hard to tell exactly what he is ordering. It looks like he's probably ordering more on the attack here. An attack is coming in quite directly instead of attacking. So he's attacking the Faro directly instead. So he's changed his launch now attacking the Faro directly instead of attacking just the RPs and attacking on their own devices. And his main, the main attack of Dark Vortex has also been pushed off. Dark Vortex, on the other hand, is trying to build up what he can. He's build up. He's changing, building up an Octopod to help defend out. While Chitin, when he is, is actually, when is he? He's about five seconds up from here. Looks like Chitin is also going to be changing around how he's playing this out, but it doesn't look like he's actually changed that much. He doesn't have... see, he has spent most of his resources. He doesn't have any resources left. Both players at this point have uh, have advanced structures, and it looks like... Whoa, it looks like actually Chitin is getting weapons. So Chitin is going to be able to get either going for very powerful domes or going for super weapons, and my guess is probably super weapons. So this is going to be very interesting. We have super weapons likely to come up very quickly. A dome as well has been put up for Dark Vortex. Dark Vortex has defended himself quite well, but it looks like there will probably be a Chrono Bomb or a Plasma Cruise Missile. Probably a Plasma Cruise Missile. Because chrono Bomb requires Chrono Porting. But a Plasma Cruise Missile looks like it will be very quickly coming along and has 
Kitan picked it up yet? No, he has not. He's still... Where we... When we are right now, Kitan does not have weapons, but... It looks like he's going to be getting weapons very quickly. And... Just double-checking. Near the Nearer to the present, he hasn't gotten weapons yet, so time we've has not pushed that up, but he has been researching it. He will research it at some point. And this is going to make it very exciting. So, right now, both players are not really doing much. They're looking around the timeline, trying to figure out what each other is doing. Double-checking their own orders, not really doing too much right now. While I really have nothing to... I really can't comment on anything without doing anything, but it does look like what they have done. Dark Vortex is building another dome, so he's getting quite paranoid. And Titan is actually has gone back in the past, he is doing something. He is nearer to the past, changing around. Looks like he's changing around his attack again, so his Octos are now harassing the QPRPs in the back instead of trying to harass this Faro here, or harass the Octos. So the Octopod is almost completely useless. Dark Vortex needs to go back now and start changing this around, but he hasn't done that yet. He is looking at this time, and here we are. So the Octopod is coming in to help attack, to help defend against these Octos. The Octos are going to be able to hold back Titan's forces a little bit. And it looks like one of the players, or Yes, Dark Vortex has jumped away, so once the time wave comes, we will see the Octopod has been attacking. So the Octopod is helping to defend against these Octos, but the Octos have destroyed one of the RPs. The other RPs are fairly safe, they're on the other side, but the RPs on the far side are quite damaged, and it looks like this... Okay, so right now Dark Vortex is looking in the unplayable past. He doesn't seem to have... I'm just double check, he doesn't have Chrono Porting. And at no time in the future does Dark Vortex have Chrono Porting. So he's looking in the unplayable past, back to when we were. Looking in the unplayable past, try to figure out what's going on, I suppose, but he can't do too much. And at this point, Kitan is also changing some stuff really far back in the past. He is building weapons again, and he is trying to do what he can. However, he is very, very tight for Chrono Energy. He's trying to micro as best he can this far in the past, but it's not doing him much good. Because he really doesn't have a lot of Chrono Energy. He can issue two orders at this point, and... At this, he hasn't really done too much, so at this, he's just waiting for his Chrono Energy Recharge, moving towards the future to try to issue more orders and build what he can while he can, while Dark Vortex is also doing what he can, building another, building a Spire finally, getting another Reef, actually, so he really wants to get fast healing, as well as being the platforms for super weapons and the platforms for upgrades. And both players have jumped back again, trying to figure out what they're doing, so as it stands, Dark Vortex is actually, has built up a... A causally independent triad in the top left corner. Looks like he's actually been doing that for a very short period of time. I'm just going to double check. Yes, he hasn't done that for very long. It's only been about 30 seconds it's been up there. But he now has the causally independent triad. So he has a full expansion, very safe expansion, with his Reese as well. While for Kitan, Kitan does have weapons. So Kitan could be sending... Kitan has sent out, actually, a Plasma Cruise Missile. And I'm not sure if it's hit yet or not. It has. It does do some fancy chronoporting tricks when it fires. But he has fired off a Plasma Cruise Missile which means that we will be seeing some very interesting shenanigans going on very quickly. And, okay, so here is... There we go. So Plasma Cruise Missile is going, going forward and will be chronoporting back right now. So the Plasma Cruise Missile is going to deal a huge amount of damage when it hits. And the timeline, as you can see, the time waves has propagated this damage. So Plasma Cruise Missile just dealt a huge amount of damage, destroyed a huge portion of Dark Vortex's base. Luckily for him, he had these RPs already built, already set up, so he will have some economy after this, but he is going to be running out of resources. Right now, this is a bit further in the past, so Kitan's advantage won't be quite as pronounced, but it will be very pronounced in the near future. Let's fast forwarding towards the present. This advantage, so at this point, Kitan is not, is the only one getting any resources. Dark Vortex has no resources coming in, especially not Liquid Crystal. He has some Q-Plasma coming in now, with the RPs, but he doesn't have any Liquid Crystal, while well, Kitan has a ton of Liquid Crystals, so that was a very powerful Plasma Cruise Missile right there, and I'm not sure if he's going to send off another one. He doesn't even have the resources to do it quite yet, but he does have enough resources to at least send off more Octos. Hard to tell if... He looks like he's just setting up the Octos for another attack, possibly, but he that Plasma Cruise Missile, very powerful attack. So, right now, Kitan is in a very tight spot. Sorry, Kitan has put Dark Vortex in a very tight spot. Titan, Kitan himself is very comfortable, but Dark Vortex is in a tight spot, because he has that one expansion, but he does not have a whole lot. Kitan's now sending off a Faro Pod and a couple of Octos to try to completely seal the deal on this. And right now, it doesn't look like either player can really do too much. Both players are trying to hang out in the very far past, or as far past as they can. But neither of them have Chronoporting, so they can't save anything yet. 
And I'm not sure if another Plasma Crystal is coming up. It doesn't look like the energy has been spent for it. So right now, Chitin is just trying to solidify his advantage and get a win off this with the Fire Buzz. He has two Fire Buzz here, cloaked in, going into attack. Okay, the attacking, hitting the dome. The dome is going to be going down very quickly. Will not deal enough damage to take care of these guys at all. So the Fire Buzz, one of the Fire Buzz is dead though. Another Fire Buzz is coming in and it looks like... Looks like Darkworks has switched around, but Chitin is still looking at this battle, and the battle is still raging. So the Farpod is dealing a lot of damage. Farpods are dealing a couple of Octos coming in as well, so Dodgers are dealing a huge amount of damage, tremendous amount of damage, destroying the Reef. The Reef is going to be gone. The Farpod is also pretty safe. One of the Farpods is still safe. Two of the Farpods were destroyed, and a Dome as well to help out. The Farpod will probably not be able to take care of this Dome, but it's hard, hard to say. Another Farpod coming in, so the far Dome is destroyed. The Farpod has not been held off, so right now Dark Vortex is having a hard time dealing with this, but a minute down from now, Dark Vortex looks like he's trying to handle this as best he can. However, he he is starting to run low on Chrono Energy, and it looks like he has two orders left, he doesn't know what to do with them, and right now it's not going to help him too much. More Octos coming in as well, Kitan actually sent more Octos going back in time to make his attack even stronger, so right now Dark Vortex really doesn't have a whole lot he can do. The best he can do at the moment is to try to make the most of his independent triad. He doesn't have enough resources right now for Chrono Boarding, unfortunately, but he does have enough resources to at least get something built up, another independent base. It's not the best strategy because he is in a really bad spot, but he might be able to save himself from here if he at least manages to rebuild, because while Chitin has dealt a lot of damage, he does not have an expansion himself, so right now Dark Vortex and Chitin are pretty even for economy, and Chitin is also not be able to control himself right well, but he doesn't have much... Unfortunately, Dark Vortex does not have much to fight with, but he does have more resources, or at least as many resources, as Chitin, as much in the way of RPs as Chitin. Chitin has not solidified this advantage with an expansion, that's what he really needs to do right now, but unfortunately he has not done that yet, he has a lot of resources to do that with, but he does not have a lot of commands to do it with, so he can't do a lot in terms of command and control, but he can, once he gets the money for it, he will be able to deal with this very quickly, if he... Uh, if he expands, if he's able to expand, and it looks like he's expanding, but he's expanding in a slightly unsafe location. Dark Vortex will be able to fight back directly, but as it stands, Dark Vortex does not have much, and it looks like the Cosly Independent Base has been found, so Chitin is going to be able to completely destroy this base of Dark Vortex. Dark Vortex put up a pretty good fight here, but I don't see Dark Vortex getting out of this very quickly. Looks like Chitin will be able to completely shut this down. However, Chitin's actually going back in time to double check himself what he can do, and he doesn't have a lot he can do right now. He doesn't have a lot of Chrono Energy, and he can't issue a lot of orders. He can only really issue four orders anyway. Two orders are left. Looks like he is just trying to rebuild a bit more, build up a bit more, but yeah, Dark Vortex has surrounded. He really can't do too much. This is the furthest playable pass. At the unplayable pass, there's basically too many far pods, too much of an attack force. Very interesting game, though, because, like I said, Chitin, Chitin did attack. I mean, it's a good attack, but... Dark Vortex, if he had managed to make use of that independent triad a bit sooner, he probably would have been able to rebuild and to reattack, and from there, the Farapods wouldn't have been quite as threatening. But very interesting game, well played for both of them, and thanks for watching. Have a good night.